guys, you have the power to change who you are, what you are, and how you feel about everything. Remember, it's not what you do, it's who you are that counts. You have the power to be the champion of your own change. So during this workout, I want you to give me your personal best today. Work as hard as you can for the time that you've put in for this workout. You can make incredible changes in your life and in your heart and how you feel. So do it now. Give me your best shot. Hi, I'm Jen Miller. Welcome to the workout. This is a medicine ball workout, and you're going to love it because it's wonderful for your entire body, but especially good for your core muscles. And those are the middle muscles right around your waistline. One thing that's really important is that you clear a lot of space around the room, and you get a chair or a stool to put your ball in. Put a towel underneath it so it can stay stable, because we're going to exchange from ball exercises to cardio exercises. We're doing a circuit interval conditioning workout, which means we're going to go from ball exercises to cardiovascular exercises, back to ball, and then we're going to finish with a little bit of core. There's different ball sizes and different resistances. You can use a 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 pound ball, but it's especially important that you watch this video all the way through at least once before performing the workout, and then start with a light ball and work up to a heavier ball as you get fitter. During the exercise sequences, I'll give you one base exercise. Jamie, the girl that will be helping me today, will keep you with that base exercise, and then I'll take you up a level to give you an intensity option that will be harder than the base level. If you can do that intensity option with your ball, great. If you can do the intensity option but you need a break from using the ball, just put it back on your stool or chair and then pick it back up when you're ready. During the cardio section, we've got three things to choose from, a march, a run, or jumping jacks. We also have a challenge cardio section, which includes very fast, quick running sports drills. Do the best you can, work at your own fitness level, and get the workout that is best suited for you. Remember, there's nobody more important in this workout than you. Posture is real important. You want to make sure that you have a good, solid, neutral posture. Now, neutral posture is your best posture no matter what position you're in. Your chest is out, your shoulders are back, your abdominals are in, and your head, shoulders, hips are stacked. The power position for some of these exercises is a tightly pulled in abdominal section with a small tilt in the pelvic bowl. You're also going to get down into sort of a ready position. In the standing position, I'll show you that right before we start the workout. Check the chart on your screen. This is a perceived exertion chart, and it's here to help you gauge how hard you're working during the workout. You should work somewhere between 3 and 7. If you're up at a 10, you're probably working too hard, and you need to decrease your intensity. Take a lower option, or put the ball down, or choose a lighter weight ball. If you're working at 1 or 2, you probably need to step it up. Pick up a heavier ball, or increase your range of motion, and really get after the moves. So if you're ready, just remember, Go at your own pace, have a good time, drink water before, during, and after the workout. And most of all, have fun. Let's get started. Hey everybody, you ready for your medicine ball workout? I am. This is my friend Jamie. She's helping me today. And we're going to get started with a great workout that you're going to enjoy. Now remember, if you're starting out for the first time, you may want to get a lighter medicine ball. For instance, a six-pound medicine ball might be good for you, or even a four-pound medicine ball. And remember, you can do any of the exercises just pretending you're holding a ball. Jamie's got a heavier ball, and today I'm going to show you the exercise. She's going to continue with the exercise, and then I'm going to show you how to make it more intense. You decide how hard you want to work and choose the level you want to work at. Let's put our balls down for just a second and we're going to warm up. Right here. Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good job. We're going to march it out. Right leg. Here we go. March it out. Now here's how we're going to do the workout. We're going to start with some medicine ball exercises to challenge your core and your arms and your extremities. And then between those exercises, we're going to add some cardio, which is going to up your heart rate and give you a good cardiorespiratory response. We're going to give you three choices on the cardio. The first choice is this right here. It's just a march. Stay with Jamie. I'm going to show you the second choice. It's a jog. And this jog actually shuffles a little bit side to side. So don't be afraid to use your hips on this and keep your arms pumped. If you like this and it's enough for you, you can stay here. But if you want to go one step further, instead of the jog, go ahead and do the jumping jacks. Looks like this, right here. We're going to do anywhere from 30 seconds to 45. 
five seconds of cardio in between each exercise. If you want more cardio, just keep doing the exercises as we go through some of the ball strength and structural integrity exercises. If that's enough for you, stay there or just change it up, whichever way you like. In four more, I'm going to go back to the march and stay with you. <sighs> Feeling good? All right, we're going to get started by simply taking our legs a little further apart. Keep marching right here. You're going to get low, low as she goes, baby, low as she goes, right there. You're going to hold this by putting your hands on your thighs. Give me a low back stretch. Push that belly down and then round it up. Good. Do it again. Need two more. Last one. You're going to reach overhead, right, left. Here we go. Right. Nice. Beautiful job, guys. Anytime during the workout, if it gets too tough for you, remember, you can take a slight rest, keep your feet moving, or put your ball down and pretend you have a ball. It's as easy as that. Let's punch across the chest. Here we go. Punch. Now I want you to keep your hips square to me, and as you're punching across the chest, think about t twisting the torso or rotating it ever so gently as you're pushing. Nice job, guys. In four more, we're going to hold our legs still and bring an elbow across like this. Here. Here. That's your power move. Now what I want you to do is bend your knees, keep your abs pulled in, your pelvic floor muscles engaged, and in this position, you're in the power, power position. In four more, I'm going to explain that. Hold it right here. Put your hands on your thighs, turn your toes out, thumbs in, twist and look over that right shoulder, sink down. Oh, that's a great stretch. Other side, inhale and exhale as you sink. Good, come right up here. Let's do little baby squats. Ready, Jamie? Push back. Now look, I'm gonna turn to the side and I want you to look at this C that I'm making here with my abs. Just pulling them in here. It's the tiniest bit of a pelvic bowl that tilts under and that gives you that power right there. Most important here, when we're working with the medicine ball, we are asking the core muscles, the middle muscles, all the muscles the core would touch to keep us nice and steady, nice and stable, and in our best posture. So that's what I want you to do, create that C there. Two more. Last one, hold it right here, march it out, right leg. Ready, here we go. Take those hands behind your back, I'm gonna turn around and show ya. Pull those arms down, drop that chin. Nice. Nice. Good job. Take your head over to the right, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch here in the neck. That's gonna get your upper body prepared to use this ball. Bring your head back up, loosen those arms, pull them back again, and take your head to the left. Now, as my friend Celia says, open your heart, replace fear with compassion, feel the love. And I want you to do that right now, because this moment for you and this time for you, it's just for you. And I want you to concentrate on how you feel and how much you love yourself and others. You guys ready? Pick up your medicine ball right here. Hold the ball right here. Abs are in, nice and tight. This is called a ball toss. Watch me first. Just stay there with Jamie. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to toss the ball right here. And as you catch it, look how you're making that C with your middle and pulling that ball back. Can you do it? Let's go. Right here. Now you see Jamie's using a heavier ball. The heavier ball is going to want to pull you forward. Don't let anyone or anything pull you out of alignment. You stay tall, stay posturally correct, stay stable. Nice job. Good. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to shift my weight from side to side. Join me, Jamie. Just shifting. Nice job, guys. And as you pull that arm back, keep your chest lifted, keep your heart open, keep your shoulders back, give me your best posture. Strength comes from within you. Keep it there. Watch what I'm going to do. The next moment, I'm going to be lifting one leg and then the other. You don't have to do that, but when I tell you to, if you want to, try it. Are you ready, guys? Here it is. Try it. And it's a little bit tricky at first because as you shift your weight, that ball is going to pull your weight over to one side. You've got to compensate by tightening those core muscles. Four more. In three more, guys, I'm going to have you hold just one leg up. Are you ready to do that? All right, hold that leg up right here. Now just toss the ball back and forth. Whoa, that's the toughest part right there. Nice. You feeling the love now, baby? <laughs> Sit back into that hip, push behind you. Remember, get it behind you, right? Yeah? Hold it right here in this hand, hold it, stay there. Balance, balance, balance. 
Get those abs in, keep that knee lifted. Put that foot down, give me figure eights right here. Figure eights, nice. Keep that nice, powerful structure in the middle. How we doing? All right, stay with that. In eight more, all you're gonna do is do the same exercise again. But you're gonna do it from the other side. Are you guys ready? Hold it right here, toss it here. Here, nice. Make sure you can adjust any time. Readjust your feet, readjust your posture. Remember not to lean forward, but to keep the abs pulled in and the power comes from the middle. Nice job, guys, keep going. In four more, if you want to add intensity, I'll ask you to shift by picking up each heel each time. Opposite heel as you go to the right, and right heel as you go to the left, good. Remember that ball gets heavy, make sure you're catching it with those strong middle muscles. Stay stable, good job. That's it, beautiful. Wanna go one step further, go ahead and lift it up right here. Lift, whoa, lift. And remember it's a challenge, it's supposed to be a challenge. Nice. Can I have four more? Four. Three. Two. On the next one, you're gonna hold one leg up. Ready? Hold one leg up. There you go. Nice. Stay with that. Beautiful. Eyes fixed anywhere in front of you. Good. Keep it there, keep it there. Nice. One more and hold it right here. Hold it, stay there. Balance. You guys doing okay? Keep that elbow bent. Put this foot down. Give me figure eights right here. Woo! Nice job. That's it, good. Bring those feet a little closer right here. Hold it right here. Bring the ball above your head, Tammy. We're gonna do tricep extensions right here. We're gonna push up, two, and down. Two, nice and slow. Elbows forward. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me right here. Okay, let's see if we can go a little faster. Ready, Jamie? Push, good, push. Now what I want you to do, guys, is watch me. Stay with Jamie if you like. Sitting back into these hips. In four more, drop your chin gently. Relax the back of your neck. You're gonna actually lift one leg and then the other. It looks like this. You're gonna lift and then go here. Try it if you like. Lift, lift. You can take the legs straight out if you like. And that's even tougher. Beautiful. Nice. Can I have six more? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Hold it. And bring it right down here. Woo! Good job. Put your ball down. And let's go to that march or jog or jack section. I'll start marching with you. Okay? If you want to go... Next step is a jog right here. If you want to go a little further, if you want more intensity, stay right there. Nice. I'm going to go to the jacks. If you want to go there, go there now. Right here. If the jacks are too much for you, or you just like the jog better, you can just try a little bit of the jacks, go back to the jog, and work up. Beautiful. Either way, do it like you mean it. All right, guys, this is your workout. So you do the best you can. Make the best of this. I want you to give me your personal best today because I know you have it. I know you have it in you. You have the power to get as much as you want out of this workout as you want. So it's up to you. Stay with that. Nice. Good. Keep it. I'm going to see how Jamie's doing. How you doing, Jamie? Good. Now, at any time, Jamie, you could go to jog too if you wanted to. It's up to you. Or you can stay at the march. And if you get a little lower, Jamie, on that march even, it's even harder. You're sinking down. Stay with that. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out, everybody. Here we go. Nice. Pick up that ball right here. Take those legs wide apart. These are squats. Hold the ball right here. Squat down and up. Down. Good. This is a plie squat. Now, I want you to make sure that your toes are turned out, that the ball is right here, just under your belly button, your shoulders are pulled back, and your chest is open. Down and hold, stay here, hold here. Stay here, now come up. Do it again, right here, hold. Shoulders back, stay here, now come up. Do it again. Now when you hold, I want you to make sure your knees are over your ankles, and they're not shooting past your ankles, so get your legs farther apart if you need to. Now give me a bicep, curl the ball up, bring it back down, nice. Do it again, right here. Beautiful. That's it, do it again. 
Now you're holding at the bottom. You can stay right here, or we can increase how long we stay at the bottom. You ready? How about three of these curls right here? Three, two more, one more, and bring it up. Nice job. Do it again right here. Three curls. Three, two, one more, and bring it up. Good. We got two more of those, Jamie. Nice and tall, guys. Open that heart. Keep your shoulders back. Keep your abs in and bring it up. I know that ball is heavy. Remember, you can go to just a little pretend ball, a little invisible ball if you need to, right here. Good. Come on down. Stay with Jamie. Watch. Instead of doing three bicep curls, I'm going to push the ball over my head and then come up. You ready? Here we go. Down. Curl. Push. Push one more time. Bring it down and come on up. Take it down. Curl and push. Push twice. Push. Do it again. Bring the ball down and then come on up. Here we go. Take it down. Curl. Push. Push. Bring it down. I'm going to curl it up when I come up. Here we go. Down. Curl. Push. So that's our last hardest version. You're going to come down. I'm going to curl it up as I come up. You go down. Curl and push. How are we doing, guys? We doing good? Last one. Good. Bring it up, and you're just going to twist side to side here. Easy. This is Jamie's favorite. Get those feet a little closer in right here. And I'm going to just ask you, if you can, to gently take that ball over those shoulders. Nice. Stay with that. Eight. Seven. Six. That's it. Five. Can we do it? Four. Three. Boy, you are strong. Two more. Last one. Hold it right there. Put that ball back down. Easy does it. Jog out, jack out, or march out. Your choice. Nice job, guys. I'm going to do some jacks right here. And you can stay with me, or you can stay with Jamie. Your choice. You can mix it all up. Here's where our cardio section is. Now, I want you to keep doing these jacks because I'm going to show you another move that's going to make the cardio section harder. Right now, we've only done a jog and a jack to make it harder out of the march. But what I want you to do is watch me while you stay with Jamie. Jamie, go ahead and jog for me. Go ahead and jog for me. I want you to watch what I'm going to do now. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to run real fast. This is like a sports run or sports conditioning run right here. And I'll show you from the side what it looks like right there. See, your knees are about shoulder distance apart. Your toes are facing forward. And you're just holding this right here. And you're just running as fast as you can fast as you can. You got it? Stay right there. Stay right there. Nice job. In four more, go back to the jog, the jack, or the march. There it is. Woo! Good. Now we're going to go to the upper body one more time. What we're going to do here is we're going to take the ball and we're going to do some twisting overhead presses. You stay with Jamie. I'll show you what it's going to look like. We're going to do one arm at a time. You're going to take the ball. Place it in your hand, and you're going to push it up. Give it a little twist at the top. Okay? Right there. Nice. Good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add a side leg lift to this. Ready? Push. 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 Not quite so easy. How are we doing? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, good. Keep going. That's it. Relax the back of your neck. You're going to give me seven more. Here's where the power comes from, ladies and gentlemen. You're determined. Get tough. Decide you want it. Three more. Two. One more. Hold it. Breathe. Whoa, change size. Ready? Here we go. Just push and twist. Push. One hand is on your thigh. You've got that C going on right here. Small tuck in the pelvic bowl. You're pushing it right here. So you're going to twist at the top. And at the top of the move is where you turn your hand slightly. So at the bottom of the move, the palm is toward the ear. And give me five more. And I'm going to show you how to add a leg when you're ready. Okay? Keep going, guys. Keep going. Stay with that. Nice. If you look here, the only change is that I'm just shifting the weight over to one side. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Here, Jamie. Last one. Hold it. Yeah. Good. Take that ball and put it back down. Go 
back to the fast run or march right here. Now eventually, this is the next move, and we're going to be doing something called a, a snap throw. So we're going to jog for eight, we're going to snap and throw to the left, right, and then we're going to jog eight and snap throw to the left. Stay right here, jog, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the legs, throw here, eight, seven, really got to stay tight and keep your arms close to your body, two more, two, now go back and jog fast, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, this time we're going to throw to the left for eight, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it right here, twist, side to side, now guess what we're going to do, we're going to use the ball and we're going to do that, two more right here, hold it, pick up the ball, and we're going to run, right here, three, four more, then you're going to be throwing to the right, hold the feet, throw now, ready, eight, seven, keep those elbows soft, keep the ball close to your body, go back to the fast run now, come on, eight, seven, keep that ball close, four more, four, three, this time you're going to throw for eight this way, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, back to that fast jog right here. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it, throw right here. Six now, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it, throw twice. Run for four right here. Four, three, two, throw for four. Four, three, doing great. Run for four, let's go. Four, three, Two, throw for four. That's it. You ready to run for two? Let's go. One, two, throw. Six, five, four, three, two. Run two right here. One, two, run. That's it. Five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Watch. Giant circles. Giant circles. That's it. Nice. Woo. How you doing, Jamie? Four more, and then you're going to change direction. Three, coming into that plie squat. Two, other side, switch it. Let's go, right here. That's it. Woo! <laughs> the heavy ball. <laughs> it's about to throw me, it's about to bowl me over. <laughs> Speaking of bowling, that's what's coming next. Right here, hold it, right here. Hold it at your chest, you're going to bend slow. Three, two, and bring it right back up slow. You're going to take that ball back. Go ahead to your jack, jog, or run. Let's go. Right here. Nice job, guys. Doing great. Now remember, if you like the jacks and you want to stay with them, that's great. You've got two other choices. One is a jog. And that jog just kind of shuffles from side to side. Abs are in. Easy play on the hips here. You can do the march like Jamie if you like. Or you can go back to that football run right here. Or you can do any cardio that you feel comfortable with here. We're inserting this little cardio because we're doing a circuit. We're trying to get that heart rate up, use the ball, get our cardio respiratory system strong, and do everything at once so we're an integrated health and wellness being. There you go. Stay with that. You're doing great, guys. Stay with me. You're looking good. Looking good. Nice. You're going to keep whatever you're doing for about 15 more seconds. You good, Jamie? All right, now remember, if you're marching, feeling like it's not enough, don't worry, because as you get better and better and stronger and stronger, you can go from one cardio exercise to another and feel comfortable about it. Four, three, two, and march it out right here. Woo! All right. You're going to pick up your ball right here, and we're going to actually hold it up like we're going to bowl. Watch. We're going to bowl, and then we're going to switch it to the other side. See? We're going to bowl. All right. Hold your feet steady. Now, let's bowl right here. That's it. Good. Now you can kind of follow the ball with your chin, but try not to twist your whole body toward that side. Good. All right. Next, I'm going to show you a small change. Watch. I'm going to tap and then tap. Now that's tricky. You got to really pull in through your low abdominal area. You almost got to be concave there. Stay with that. Okay. Doing great. Doing great. Now, Slow it way down, slow it way down, slow it way down. Take it down and up and again, down. Now 
gonna put both hands on the ball if you do that, as you do that. Take it down and up, other side, down. Good, we're gonna go down and back for three counts right here. Stay there, stay there. Two, one, other side right here. Three, two, one, right here. This is a cross chop and lunge. You wanna keep your hips forward. Don't let your hips turn, but you're bringing the ball down to the opposite hip. Watch what I'm gonna do to change it. I'm gonna add a little bit of a press or a little bit of a pulse here. This is a quasi-isometric pulse. You wanna keep your elbows bent as the ball goes over your head and back down right here. Good, now if it gets really tough, you can just keep the ball at your chest there and hold it still. If it's still too tough, keep it at your belly and hold it still. Take the breaks when you need it. Keep the ball close to your body, but maintain those good lunges right there. Nice job. You got six more, here it is, here's six. That's it. Here's five, five. Good job, guys. Can I have four more? Here's four. Here's three. Nice. Two more. How we doing, Jamie? Is this getting me yet? <laughs> Last one right here. <laughs> Good, hold it right here, bring it back here again. Put it in the small of your back. Give me those tricep extensions right here. Again, now when you're doing the tricep extension, guys, you want to make sure your hands are on the side of the ball here. And as you're pressing overhead, you want to make sure your elbows are parallel. This is a great exercise because it works the back of the upper arms. You drop your chin. Feels pretty good. How are we doing? Stay with it. Eight more. You know what's going to happen here after these eight? I'm going to show you with the next four. You remember it from before? It's here. Okay, now if you can't do that, you can just pick up your knees or you can stay with your feet planted. Knees or legs. Here we go. Here. There you go. That's it. Dropping that chin. Keeping your abs pulled in. That's it. How are we doing, Jamie? Keep going. You're looking good. Looking good. I need two more from you. Got it in you? Reach into those pockets. If you see yourself doing it, then you'll do it. Hold it right here. Bring it into your belly right here. Bend it over slow. Stand it up. Hold it right there. Let's go a little faster. Down two, up two. Down two. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. It's down two. And up two. Nice job. I want you to stay with Jamie here. Keep the ball anywhere you want. Buried into your ribs is a good place. Because these are one-legged hip hinges. All I want you to do on this, and I'm going to step forward for a little bit, is I'm just going to tap my right leg back as I come over and then tap my left leg. Now, it's real important here that you keep the ball buried in the body. Keep your elbows up and back. Good. Keep your shoulders back and down right here. Down. Good. Add this with me, Jamie. Take your right foot back and then come on up and then your left foot. There you go. Nice. Right foot. I'm going to turn all the way around and left foot. That's it. Good. Now watch what I'm going to do next. I'm going to lift. And that's kind of hard because it takes some balance. And lift. Good. Again. And lift. Beautiful. And lift. Now we're going to see if we can balance. Keep your toe down or lift your leg and hold once you get down there. Hold it. Stay there. Hold it there. Engage the glutes and come on up. Other side. Take it down. Hold it. Stay there need to hold on to something, you just reach and put one hand on your bench and bring it up right here. Let's take it over. I'm going to push the ball down toward the floor. Then I'm going to pull it back up into the body and come on up. Nice job. Do it again. Lean. And this is for your glutes, guys. If you have to put a foot down, go right ahead because there's a little balance component to this. Let's do it again. Bend. Lift. Bring it back up lower down. Again, lift, lower, pull, and up. You got two more? Bend, lower. Squeeze those shoulders together, ball berries, and come on up. Other side, right here. Release, come on up, and lift it up. Good, let's twist side to side. Here we go, right there. Nice job, guys. How you doing? Woo, that was a really good workout. We're gonna go into some abs now, and we're gonna do some push-ups too. 
And when we do the push-ups, Jamie and I are going to face each other. We're going to stagger ourselves a little bit. What I want you to do to get some room here is go ahead and put your ball down for just a second. Push your chair or your bench out of the way. Okay? Get your towel or your mat and your ball. Okay? And you're just going to put your towel or your mat down. Jamie's going to be slightly behind me here. She's going to be facing me. Come down to your knees. You want to make sure you're in a comfortable position. Now, on these push-ups, what I want you to do is take your ball and actually put it between your legs at your knees and make sure it's stable there, okay? Go ahead and walk your hands out on the floor, and you're going to get into this push-up position. The idea here of having the ball between your legs is to go ahead and close the inside of your feet together. Got a little tension on that ball. Hold this plank position, thumb slightly forward, fingers spread about shoulder distance apart, come down one quarter of the way. One quarter, hold it up, stay there, don't move. Keep your abs in, your shoulders back, your chest open. Let's try to go about halfway down. Halfway down, come on up, hold it, shoulders back, adjust your hands if you need to, because the next one we're gonna go about three quarters of the way down, right here. Three quarters of the way down and hold it up, shoulders back and down, abs in, tuck that pelvic bowl under, can go all the way down. Good. Stay right there. Nice. Now press back right here. Just stretch back. Drop that chest to the ground. Stay right there. Now this is a nice stretch. Enjoy this stretch. It's for you. It's all for you. Nice job, guys. Good. Come on back out now. This time, we're going to do one push-up and then push back into our stretch. I want you to keep your abs in, shoulders back, chest lifted, ready, here we go. Take it down, up, and stretch back. Squeeze that ball and come back to your knees. Let's go down and up three times. Here's three, two more, one more. Stretch back, back out, let's do it again. Three, good, keep squeezing that ball between your knees, stretch back. Good. Let me have two more of those three counts. Three. Do the best you can. Remember, you can go up and down any amount. Press back. Last set. Three. Two. One more. Press back. Let's do our last set for seven. Come on. Seven. Six. Now, each time you watch this video, you might get a little stronger. If you do, you can do these push-ups on your feet or try a few. One more, and press back. Stay in that nice stretch, enjoy that. Now Jamie's gonna stay in that stretch. And I'm just gonna come over here and talk to her for a second. This nice stretch right here is for your back. It's a beautiful stretch because it lengthens the low back. Your hands are out in front, it stretches those lats. Those are the muscles you just worked when you had that ball passing and all those motions in front of your body. We're gonna finish this workout with some abs. So I want you to position yourself on your mat, get your medicine ball out from your knees, have a seat right here. Alrighty, dig your heels in, place the ball right between your knees, guys. Okay, right between your knees, squeeze it, hands are out in front, we're going to make figure eight, side to side, here we go, side to side, that's it, good. Right there. Beautiful. Keep those abs pulled in. Nice. You want to stay nice and lifted out of the hip hole. Your chest is open. Your shoulders are back. Four, three, two. Hold it right here. Take the ball, straighten your legs out, and just stretch forward. And enjoy that stretch. Stretch right there. Good. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale and sink down to that stretch. Go ahead and bend your knees if you want to and hold that right there. All right, come on back up. We're going to do another set. Put that ball between your knees, squeeze it. Toes are up slightly, abs are in. This is where that C is really important. Hands here, you're going to squeeze the ball between your knees. Give me figure eights right here. Figure eights. How's that feel? Yeah? Nice. These are figure eights here. The further you lean back, the tougher the exercise, but you don't want to overdo it. Okay, you want to stay right in line. I want you to keep doing that. Breathe 
in and out. Six more, guys. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Take the ball out from underneath and stretch out. Deep breath and exhale and enjoy that stretch. Nice. Come on back up. We've got one more set. Now you can hold the ball in your hands for these figure eights or you can put it between your knees, whatever you prefer. Go ahead and put the inside of your feet together. Pull your feet a tiny bit closer to your body. Let your knees drop open. Abs are in and lean back. Ball in your hand. Let's go. Come on. Right there. There you go. Nice. Give me three more and then you're going to hold. Three, two, hold. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, three the other way. Three, two, hold. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Put that ball between your knees and just give yourself a big hug. Real tall in your saddle, abs in. Looking straight ahead, drop that chin. Good. Nice job. Take one hand to the outside of this knee and twist. Gentle rotation here. One hand behind you, sort of leaning back with a bent elbow. Nice, guys. Turn the other way. Switch positions. Elbow or forearm right on the outside of that knee. It's a gentle twist. Good job, guys. You're going to just sit right here. Take one leg out and put the other knee on the ball, and you're going to feel a nice inside stretch there. Just let that reg leg relax. Just your knee on top of that leg. How's that feel? Nice. It's a very relaxing stretch. It's not active. It's passive, which means you relax into the stretch. Good job, guys. All right. You're going to take that ball out from under. Put it down on the other side. Take the leg. Bend it. Just let it rest on that knee, and you're turning to one side, and you're relaxing. Relaxing. Good. Nice job. All right, take that ball out from under. You're going to put it under the knee of one leg right here, okay? Position it so it's centered. Okay, you're going to take one leg slightly out to the side, and you're going to just pull straight down. Now, when I tell you to, all you're going to do is put your hands on the bottom of your feet and extend that leg and hold it up. How's that? Good. You should feel a, a gentle hamstring stretch there. And come on back up. Take the ball, put it on the other leg, under the other knee. Take one leg out to the side, flex the foot. Come down if you can reach that leg and stay right there. Drop that head. Now see if you can pull on that leg and straighten. Feel a nice gentle hamstring stretch there. Stay there. And release it back down. Good job, guys. Cross your legs right here. We're going to finish this stretch, pulling the ball close to the body, drawing the shoulders back and down. Keep the chest lifted. Draw the chin down and hold it right there. Take a deep breath. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. You're going to take that ball behind you now and just hold it next to the floor. Put your hands on it anywhere you want and draw those shoulders back and drop your chin one more time. Nice. Squeeze those shoulder blades down. Back and away from the ears. Stay right there. Good. Take your head to the right. Nice job, guys. And take your head to the left. And back to the center ball back in your lap. Your ball is your friend. Push your hands against your knees and take a deep breath. Exhale. Good job, guys. That was a great workout. Thank you for helping me, Jamie. She did a great job with her heavy ball over there. <laughs> and remember, you have the power inside here to do whatever you want to do and accomplish whatever is out there for you. It's you and your decision. You have the choice and the power to do that. So you go and you get there. I'm Jen Miller. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.